if you think that you have agency and can like affect the outcome of your future, you feel much more hope for the future and then it's sort of vice versa. And so I think that I really hope that you think about like what options we have for the AI future and that it's not just like stop AI or speed the fastest you can with advancing AI, but actually we could like think about, oh, what would be like the best way to advance AI? I think that would be just really interesting to talk more about and to hear more people like have advanced ideas on and basically map out more. And I think we're seeing a little bit of that or, you know, people thinking that we need a bit more in terms of positive visions for the future with like the better futures stuff now that came out of Farfot. And I feel like in general, like I, I've been working with the Existential Hope Project for a few years now, but and I think it's only recently, like with the progress studies movement and stuff like that, people are starting to sort of get onboarded to this idea that we need to to have these sort of visions and hope that we can have a better future. And I think it's a combination also of like having a bit more of a grand vision in that, you know, if we're like morally ambitious or if we're ambitious about what the future could be in general, this is what we could get towards. And then it's not that we need to like make this master plan because that hasn't worked great historically and like get there, but it's more like incremental improvements, but it's still good to have that vision so that we don't just get stuck in like in this like just incremental improvements because then we may miss out on a lot of opportunity that if we think a bit bigger we could actually get